Welcome to my fragrance show. We'll learn together and grow together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Welcome to my fragrance show. I am Marshall's Blend Fragrance and today we're gonna go over the four fragrances that I wore from Primera Perfume. Let's start off with De Marbella. The notes are coconut, vanilla, brown sugar, steamed oud, and musk. And let me tell you, that steamed oud, though it was not prominent, it was very present, and it was something that a lot of the people who smelled it were able to recognize that there was something different, and it was not off-putting. So that steamed oud gave off a steamed something, steamed wood. It's different from smoked, it's different from bakor, it's different from fireplace. It was literally a steamed oud. That musk, was a gorgeous musk. The coconut was absolutely delicious. This one was a fragrance that I enjoyed wearing. It is a fragrance that I feel a person can choose to make it a signature scent. Almost anyone can wear, male or female, though some people were saying it was masculine leaning. In my opinion, a woman can wear it. I don't necessarily see like a teenager wearing it. I don't think it's made for a teenager, although teenagers can wear it, clearly. There are teenagers that are wearing Dracar Noir today. So, you know, that. so I'm just, I'm just giving my opinions as far as that's concerned, but it is a solid fragrance. For me, this house did not make anything that warranted less than a 40 out of 10, period. The vanilla in there is present. The vanilla in there is wonderful and works so well with that coconut. So all together, this one gets a solid 40 to 42 out of 10 for me. This is one that I would easily give as a gift. I gotta tell you, so the the where I was working as a door person or concierge, um, the, the person that's been there for years fell in love with the fragrance and I did. I gave it to him as a gift. He loved it and I can see him wearing it. He also likes Black Orchid. So if you, if you like Black Orchid, this fragrance might be something that is totally different but would be absolutely appealing to you. Let's move on to the next one, okay? Unique or unique, unique, but it's unique. Now, I gotta tell you something. This is the one that I fell in love with, although it is not listed in the notes. I am sure there's a rose because that rose is ever present and it is not a uh, feminine leaning rose. It's a gorgeous, solid unisex rose. But the notes that are listed are Spanish saffron and I definitely got the saffron. Even my mother mentioned it smelled something like what we used to cook because we do use turmeric, we use saffron, we use cumin, we use those things. At the heart, bergamot and sandalwood. At the base is musk, amber, and vanilla. And again, I've got to tell you something. That amber in Unique is absolutely gorgeous. It is labdamic, and my nose was getting labdanum for the first two days of wear. And that was why I said, I don't think it's a unique fragrance because it smells like a tradition, not traditional, but it is. it smells like a familiar Middle Eastern um, saffron fa fragrance, okay? Rose saffron fragrance. But as the days wore on, remember, these two I did get to wear seven days straight. Um, I was able to then start smelling and appreciating the other notes that were present and that is what is unique. And I realized that the very first day of wear. I said, although the um, pro scent profile may not be unique, the experience is unique, the materials are unique, and that is a fact. So unique is unique because of the experience you get and the materials that it's made with, and it is ultimately a unique scent. Especially for a person who has never uh, smelled Middle Eastern fragrances, it is absolutely unique. So kudos and props, all right? Now on to the next one. Rivoli 
Amber. And I gotta tell you, of the four, this one was absolutely fun to wear. This one was absolutely fun to wear. I'll tell you the notes. It's bergamot, grapefruit, blackcurrant, pear, green mandarin, orange zest, citrus fruits. And you do get that. The heart is pink pepper, rose, jasmine, orange blossom, coffee, and benzoin. At the base is ambergris, patchouli, cedar, white musk, woods, frankincense, and white oud. And I gotta tell you, of the four that I was able to experience, this one seemed to be the one that is more of like the, I'm not gonna say mass appealing, but the more easily acceptable and uh, easily to wear. Let's put it like that. That is the one that I felt that this was it. It reminded me so much of, at, at first, of, of um, Pink Flower, but it's not, it doesn't smell like Pink Flower. There's just something, and I think it's the florals in it that reminded me of the Pink Flower, but it's also the coffee in it. It's the fact that it is, a, it's like a Flormand. I think I called it a Flormand. It's a, it's, you know, it's a floral gourmand, and it's precisely what it is. So, but of course, Pink Flower, Pink Flower, no shade to it, but this is clearly better material. It's a better experience. So if you want to step up your Pink Flower experience, this one would be it. Although I'll be honest with you, Pink Flower for me, I did not like it as a fragrance. This one I love. Now my cousin actually was able to smell it and she says, no, wait a minute, you know what? This reminds me of Luna. And yes, Luna is one of my favorite fragrances, period. And it is Immortelle based. And so that's what this one reminded me of, that spun sugar, brown sugar, not brown sugar, spun sugar, um, caramelized sugar it's just it's really a delicious floral flormand okay if you're looking for a flormand let me tell you something rivoli amber is the one to go for and of course the amber in it is wonderful the oud in it the white oud in it is great the musk is absolutely delicious the coffee yes i get it and the florals and the just it's a solid fragrance for this one and the last one, they both get a definite 42 to 43 out of 10. As far as my liking, I really did like them a lot, all right? So now we're gonna move on to Costa Blanca Musk. This one is, for me, a sparkling 50 out of 10. Sparkling 50 out of 10. This one, the projection is wild. The smell is so different. It is yamative. It is calling. It is attention grabbing and attention pulling. This one, people will smell it. They won't say anything to you, but they're gonna wonder what it was if you look like me. But if you are a person that people do feel like they can step up to, let me stop. People came up to me and gave it compliments. Now, let me tell you, I have videos, prior videos to this, where we speak about Costa Blanca Musk. And let me tell you, there was a lady named Emily who smelled me all the way by the elevators when I was sitting at the bar of the hotel that I'm working in. She came over and she smelled me and we had a great conversation. And that was kind of the uh, energy that this fragrance pulls. People smell it and they are able to come to the point of reference. And then if they want to create a conversation with you, they surely will. So of the four, I absolutely fell in love with Costa Blanca Musk. For me, it is a sparkling 50 out of 10. So I wanna say thank you so very much, Batter. You gave me an experience that may have taken me a very long time to have had. So I am eternally grateful to you for it. I don't take these kinds of gifts and um, attention and deep to detail as what you have done. And also another shout out to Fragged Out, Swagged Out, Rico, Rico. He's the one that introduced me to um, the fragrances. He gave me the discovery set, which we had the conversation, which sparked, sparked this opportunity. See you guys, be right back. All right, so I'm going to take a break, right? So I'm gonna conclude the um, tour of the House of Primera Perfumes Kuwait. Guys, if you're able to get the Discovery set, check out their fragrances. They have some absolutely gorgeous fragrance. They have something called Vanilla Leather. They have Lion Oud. They have so many wonderful fragrances. Um, so 
after this, I'm going to start a few days. I wanted to do five days, but I won't be able to because I'm going to be taking a hiatus starting the 3rd, or actually the 4th of March. So I, I, I'm going to stop uh, creating new episodes the 3rd and take a month break. But these will be what I'll be wearing. These are from Studio Sense. What's up, Candice? These are from Studio Sense. And the fragrances are Le Demi Monde, uh, Faisalis, and Cardoon Grey. These are from the house of Studio Sense. It's going to be a great... Love you guys, all right? Take care. Goodbye, my lovely fragrance blender. I'll see and smell you soon. Ciao, ci vediamo pronto. Love you guys.